Hello guys and welcome for some room to and divide a and pair mod. Um, okay, so in this video we have the Syracuse here, one of the very interesting faction and probably one of the most fun campaign we can have in uh, divide a and pair. As Syracuse you start here um, between Rome and Carthage, two superpowers faction in the games, and both of them want your land. Both of them want to take Syracuse from you. So sooner or later, they will just declare war on you, and you will have to fight against both of them, both Rome and Carthage, to and try. You will have to try to defend us or yourself from two superpowers. <laughs> Uh, factions. Okay, that makes the early game as uh, Syracuse can be really, really difficult. Uh, so uh, let's see how we can overcome that difficulty and how we can come out on top um, in the war with Rome and Carthage. Okay, so now let's talk about the Syracuse. They are Greek. So at the other Greek faction, we have Hoplites. Um, this regular hope is nothing special about the CQ hope line. We have some some nice troop, which is really really useful actually. I really like this some nice medium infantry. They have pretty good melee start. 14 melee attack is quite decent. Um, low damage and low charge though, but they also have pretty good armor, 30 armor and 3 speed. Will be a pretty nice unit to you. But most importantly, as Syracuse, and this actually what makes your campaign really, really interesting, they have a special unit, which is the crossbow infantry, the Gasha Fistet. They are the most dangerous range unit in the game. They are the best, simply the best. Look at their damage, missile damage, um, 22 missile damage, with a base of 16 and 6 armor piercing damage. Now we compare it to um, a Javi man, for example. The Javi man only have 20 first, 21, 21 missile damage, and 15 base damage and 6 armor piercing damage. Which means uh, <laughs> the crossbow man, they even have more damage than, than, a, than a Javi man unit. Obviously, the crossbow man will not have. Um, Better damage than an elite javelin man, but compared to the regular javelin man, they will have more damage. That's so powerful. You you know how strong the javelin can do damage to the units, right? And the crossbow can do the same damage, but with much higher range. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> they have more damage than a javelin. And they have more range than a slinger. Holy shit. That is big. 200 range and with general skill, with uh, buff from uh, champions, it can increase further. And I think <laughs> it can get even close to 300 range. That almost the range of uh, an artillery. That's so, so powerful. They do fire pretty slowly though. But they have a lot of ammunition. Yeah. The, the main drawback of a javelin man is that they have less ammunition. They only have six, right? So they will not be able to do um, a lot of range damage. And hey, they, we have to rely on uh, their melee capability. But as a crossbow man, they have a lot of ammunition. That's the same amount of ammunition as an archer. But the. Uh, they have much higher damage potential than an archer, which means uh, over here again, um, we can do a lot of range damage with the crossbow man. They, they are really, really dangerous. They're very strong, very powerful, and their melee start actually not bad either. They uh, have pretty good armor, twenty armor. Yeah, no shield though. Um, they have. Uh, Two bonus for the infantry. So in case you 
need them to fight in melee. They uh, they are not that strong. They are not too strong in melee, but they can do something and they can stay in melee for a little bit. <laughs> so this is a very 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 useful, very powerful units you can harness as Syracuse. As other faction, when you take Syracuse, you can recruit the crossbowman as area recruitment unit. And uh, if you see my previous campaign as Rome or as Apirus or as Macedon or as Carthus over here, I always try to recruit them. Uh, and they <laughs> perform really, really well in battle. But uh, at the area of recruitment units, we can only have four of them. That's the maximum amount of the crossbowmen we can recruit as area of recruitment. Um, however, as zero kills, they are regular units, so you can just recruit as many of those crossbowmen as you like. Then they will be the two that help you to win war versus Bosch Cartes and Rome at the same time. <laughs> um, your armies will look like this. We have hoplites, right? So we will have a sturdy line of hoplites in the front. Yeah, with a very powerful range unit, crossbowman in the behind. And when we just use a crossbowman to take out all of the dangerous units of the en enemy, um, we move them to the flank and fire into the back of the infantry. We, who are held back by your hoplites and that strategy. Why well, it's very simple, right? Very, very simple. But it's work really, really well. And the crossbow, they will have just massive damage and they should have enough ammunition to, to go, <laughs> just get rid of everything for you. That's so powerful. Simple, but powerful. Alright, now let's uh, see what the uh, first move that we need to do at Syracuse. We start here in Sicily and the cars are currently hold two settlements in Sicily as well, the Ag Agragas and Panamus. And obviously, we want to take this settlement to complete our province, right? We uh, Over here we have our general, um, also our Faction leader. So, um, um, the difficulty is on legionary. Um, and so, over here we have two options. We need to upgrade our city to level 2 so we can recruit uh, the crossbowman. And we need to do that as soon as possible. It takes 6 turns for us to uh, upgrade the, the city to level 2. To level 2 and basically you can just stay here and defend yourself and uh, wait for the building to complete and then you recruit the crossbow you recruit some more hope lights and you start attacking and take sediment uh, first by declare war on Carters and you try to start trying to take sediment here with crossbowman and hope lights and light cavalry and light cavalry and something mm. That's an option, and you can probably uh, play like this, and so no problem. But uh, one major problem here is that on higher difficulty, like in on legionary, for example, the Roman and the Carters, they have very big recruitment power. So over here, with two settlement uh, Carters, they will be able to make very big army very quickly and they will attack us we cannot avoid it and they might go here and keep harass us and they can just, if they can just go here and seek our city uh, we will not be able to complete our city right and this will be a, a big problem if they keep, just keep coming they will not be able to take our city though the garrison in um, Syracuse is very strong and with a couple more hoplites, it will be invincible. They are, they will not be able to take Syracuse from us. With um, if we just recruit a few more hoplites here, just a few more hoplites, and 
our city will be invincible. But they can harass us. They can see on our cities that will prevent the building to complete. They can raid our territories and reduce our supply, reduce our population. Um, that would be very, very bad if they do that. And six turn, why not too long? It's not too short either. Six turn, and we will after six turn, we will need to spend some more time to actually recruit the units as well. And with just one city, we only have two recruitment slot, three, three recruitment slot. So you will not be able to make your armies very quickly. So over here we have another option, which will we will declare war on Karsis right away, and we will start fighting them right here, right in the second turn. Okay, so first we try to recruit a few more units for this army, right? Um, we need cavalry, we need more hoplites too, and we need some slinger like this. And we will get a few more characters out. Just whatever. As zero. Let's take um, one more hope lines, right? Hope line generals can be quite useful. You don't always need your general to be carried. Carry is good. But um, a hope line general can be really useful as well. They are very tanky. And um, they are. Yeah, the, the chance of Jero dying when in hope line formation is actually very low. Since hope line formation will put the general into the back of the formation. So they, he's quite safe there. And uh, they we can use them to reinforce the front line. Um, he will be very tough as one. Very strong. We still need cavalry though. So let's make one cavalry general. And one more cavalry general like this. Good. So with this four army, we can just declare war on Arthas, and we take Agrigas right in the next, right in the next turn. As for the Roman, um, they will, they will, they will declare war, and they will come for us as well. But uh, currently, they are at war with. Uh, they have to fight against the Apirus. And uh, yeah, the Apirus can hold the Roman back a little bit for us. They will not stand a chance against Rome, though. They will get defeated, but uh, they will buy us some time. And uh, we will try to deal with the Carthus first in this area. And our plan is. When we secure Sicily, we will move to attack the Roman, and we also take Mana Racia and uh, Latium from the Roman. Because cross the sea to attack the Carthus would be more more difficult than attack the Roman on land like this, especially when the Carthus they have very strong navy, they have very strong fleet running ramming around this area. So cross the sea to attack them would be really, really difficult. Um, even if you can sail here and take Carthus, you will have to deal with not only the Carthus, but also the Numidian in this area. And uh, it will be very difficult to do that, right? So attack the Roman is a better option. The Roman land is very wealthy. Manorasia and Latium, very wealthy province and relatively easy to defend as well. So we can just take Manorasia, take Latium, build them up and have a massive economy and uh, build more army, build more fleets and we can deal with the Carthus after that. Alright, so that's it. We try to go to the next turn and see what happens, right? Mighty Carthage come for you. <laughs> okay. The so the car says they actually declare war on me first. Right in the first turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So we don't need to declare war on them. We just fight them right now. 
no big deal. Okay, so here is our second turn. We will attack Aquacast and take it right now. Normally, the Carters will have an army here with a few units, with um probably four units, right? We send uh, one carry generals for here to take a look. Oh, no armies here, so it will be very easy. Just the garrison. We have um more than enough to defeat the garrison here. We move all of the general here to get some experience, right? You move this way. You. Yeah. And you. Yeah. Like this. Good. And then we just attack and take this salmon real quick. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. So here we go. Um. Just a garrison, and we should be able to deal with them quite easily. Um. Reinforcement will come from here. All right. So we deployed our units here. Obliged. We have slinger to deal with the enemy hoplites. We have carry to deal with the enemy missile unit. Um. And we have hoplites to deal with uh, everything else. So it's good. We can. Uh, we can win this battle really easily. All right, reinforcement, reinforcement. Our reinforcements have arrived. Good. We try to kill this uh, javelin man real quick without carry. Um, you guys, right here with the uh, obliged. Like this, uh, you guys move here. Deal with this. Please. Cool. Just some spear. Yeah, the garrison of uh, cards is they're quite weak. Just some, some spearman, some javelin man, and just one hoplite unit. Quite easy to deal with. Charge this guy. Like that. Dark carry. Alright, it's good. Not enough. Okay. You can almost win this battle with the uh, only carry. This guy will not stand a chance against Kavi. Yeah, just more hopes, holy shit. Okay. More Kavi here, good. We try to kill the enemy missile units first before they get to our hoplites. Get, get this dude. Mm, okay. One of our hoplites still running. Yeah. One of our units has used all its ammunition. The not so good thing about Hopla is that they are pretty slow. They are really slow, yeah. Get this dude. Get up. Get this javelin man, haha. <laughs> Way. Cavalry. 
Uroid Light Cavalry. Very useful. This way, this way, charge. One of our units has used all its ammunition. This should be enough to kill this. Javin man. Get him. Here too. This should be enough to kill this javelin man. Over here we have one charge. Yep. Citizen carry. I don't like them. I don't like them. We will probably disband them right after this battle. Yep. Now hope lies. Move. In now. Okay. Formation. Like this. You here. Get wrecked now. Get away. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's just wait here. Yeah, here. Lock this with our general. You just stay away. <laughs> you go back. Right, this is a mobs. Get up. What is that? They're trying to move all the way around the unit here. Now guess right. Get right. Our general is under attack. Get up. Guys, start fighting. You guys start fighting. Huh. Some towers fought, huh? Get him. Kill. Alright, fight will here. And we should be able to win without taking any casualty at all. Without taking any casualty at all. Yeah, hope lies. Right? The hope lies. They're very sturdy. Not as strong as uh, Pikeman, obviously. But they are really, really sturdy. Fire. Get him. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get him. Recharge his spear, finish them off. Get the towers fall. Shall this guy die out with the uh, slinger? Yeah. That would be a perfect victory. The battle is turning in our favor. Five men. Holy shit, look at this. Five little men. Get charged out by Kari. Yep. And they disappear. Yours 
gets wrecked. You guys, just Gerald. Okay, it's good. Get up. Jero gets his spear, man. I like. Like that. Okay. Now fight. <laughs> And uh, a slinger which just holy shit sling stone. Oh that hurt. Okay. That hurt. Damn it, headshot. Okay, it's we win. Yeah. Good. Mm, all right. So we will need to loot this salmon because we not need that early gold, right? Looted. So we can use that gold to invest in our infrastructure right here. We can try to repair this right away. That a farm, right? Yep, it's good. We need a farm. In Sicily, we have um, grain and fish. Uh, so we can build a very powerful agriculture province here, Sicily, in Sicily. Um, you stay here. You stay here. Let me send one of them back to recruit my unit. We don't have population here, right? Yes, probably. Obviously. And, well, uh, one of them go back. We need uh, a bit more cavalry. We need more hoplites. And we need more slinger. Like this. Okay, it's good. As Syracuse, we can just use the light cavalry. They are really good though. Look at their melee start 11 melee attack and 12 melee defense. And 20 MR. Um, probably, oh, 18 only. That's pretty good. That even stronger than the Tantai carry already. And the Tantai carry is actually a very good unit. A very useful one. Very strong one. So, yeah. Get our agents out, obviously. Champion. Champion is very important for Syracuse because they can increase the missile attack range of your unit. That would be very, very useful. Alright, so next. Oh, as for general skill, the most important skill we need to take here will be that's just this one, Water Master. To increase the ammunition of our missile unit, since we will mostly just use the crossbow man to deal damage to the enemy, right? Uh, more ammunition means more damage. That's very simple to understand, right? So we will try to take this one, this one, and reduce upkeep reduction is very useful as well. Replenishment, obviously, always, always very important. So this one, this one, this one. And then the rest, I don't need all this thing. Um, experience archers is nice, but not really that important. Since the missile damage increase here, will only increase your base missile damage, not the, the armor piercing damage. And actually, when we fight against the Roman or the Carthus, um, both of them have some very very uh, heavy armor unit so the armor piercing damage 
actually more important. So 9% increase in missile, in the base missile damage uh, is not really, really useful uh, at all. We can try to get this later, but it's not very important. Over here, we can try to take this one uh, instead. So we can have uh, more, even more upkeep reduction for our units. We can reduce Empire Maintenance, we can increase uh, public order in our province. That's very useful. We will go for this after after we take Quartermaster. We go into the blue tree here. And later, maybe we can try to take some morale reduction or some uh, or some movement speed for our units. That's more useful. I think this is even more useful than having missile, missile damage in, increase here. Um, Join the sword man. Oh, we don't need it on our hope lights. Yep. So first, take this one and this one. Um, over here, Panamus. So many people will try to go and attack and take Panamus right away from the from the carters, but I don't think it will be a good idea because if we take Panamus Panamus right away. We have one more settlement that we need to defend against the, the enemy. Yep. Um, even against uh, the um, the rebellions as well. So we need. You can have an army stay between these two settlements to defend them. But uh, also, it also means that you need an army here, stationed here, to defend this province, these two settlements. And it's very ineffective to have an army stay here without doing anything. And after we take Panamus, we run out of targets, of close by targets to attack. So we will not be able to train our Jero. We want to fight as many battles as possible to uh, have more experience on our Jero so they can level up, right? That's the most important thing in the early game. And taking Panamus defeat both of these uh, pro proposed. We will have to stay, make an army stay here, and uh, we run out of targets to attack. And the cars that will keep coming with more fleet and army. Um, and uh, with an army here, we can actually defend against enemy fleet, but against an uh, enemy army, it's still very difficult to defend because. Hope lines, when they come as reinforcement, they will need a long time to run to to run, run into the salmon, right? And by the time they, they they come, the enemy might already take our salmon already. Especially when we just take the salmon and the garrison will need uh, a few, yeah, quite a while to replenish. That will be very very dangerous for us to just take the settlement. A better idea here is that we try to sack the settlement every turn. Um, that uh, an extra of 2,000, 3,000 gold per turn from sacking. And yeah, that's almost triple our income right now. And even, even if we take this one, to make 2,000, 3,000 uh, gold per turn, we will still need a very long time to build it up first um, to get that kind of income out of it. So, and we can also train our general, get more experience for them, level them up as well. When we just keep sacking the salmon like this. And yeah, and we wait for our building to complete when we have a strong enough economy to support one more army here to defend, one small fleet to fight against um, the Carter's uh, army on transport, a uh, small army here to defend both of these settlements. That uh, is the time when we will try to take Panamus, and one army will go up here to attack the Roman. Why? When we have one more small army to stay here to defend. Um, so. At that time, we will take this seven. For now, we just try to attack, sack it every turn, and then retreat. All right. So now let's go move on to let's move on to the next turn. 
and let's see what happened, right? Okay, so here we go. We have more units here. Um, we send them to to war right away, right? Let's try to stay around this area. Just in range, uh, so we can reforce. And we attack this segment right away with the faction leader army. It will be very easy. Just a garrison. Yeah, even even easier than than the previous battle. Let's go. Okay, it was a very easy battle, which is lost almost 50 men. And um, we will try to sect it, sect it like this. And we just go back to our salmon. Okay, take this unit like this. And we send one of our generals back here to recruit more. We have to go to do so, right? You get inside this one. You stay here to yeah, steal some food. It's useful. You go back here, get some more units, and let's see. Um, we will replace all of this singer with uh, crossbow man later. So we'll just have uh, four of them now. Should be enough. We disband this cavalry. I don't want to use this citizen cavalry. What uh, we really want to do, really want to have here, it's that's, that's one. The Sicilian horseman. They are really useful. Yep. And we might try to use some of those. Um, leave hopeline as well. For three hopelines, I think we need like four hoplites. Five hoplites. And some of this. Um, Levy hoplites as well as uh, as our missile taking <laughs> unit. <laughs> yeah, missile <Mischio> in short. <laughs> Alright, and use the goal we just take from enemy to upgrade our salmon like this. Very good. So we can recruit our units when and we can upgrade our settlement as uh, at the same time. That's very good, right? So keep sacking the salmon for a few turn until until we get uh, until we get our crossbow man right now let's go all right so after sacking this salmon a few more time we have enough gold to upgrade our building here and uh, our facility door is at level three now with uh, every other um, Jero is at level two so that's very good. We complete the city building, and now we can start recruit our crossbow man. Um, okay, so now we try to build a full stack, and uh, over here we try to have like five of blind for javelin cavalry for a twenty unit army. Um, probably four level of blind. They will be our mid shield. Um, Taking enemy missile attack and also they will be tanking on the front line for uh, a while. And uh, we will try to use our regular hoplites at the second line. Okay, that will. Uh, so we will have enough space for uh, six more. Six more crossbow. So we will try to have a six more uh, crossbow men in our army. And when we still recruit um we will try to keep sacking the serpent because why not right yeah so one one general stay back here can he move actually we try to sack this first keep sacking the carters they selling an army is here uh obviously if we if we if we move away they would attack and take our serpent and with a small army i don't think we can actually defend against it Full army, the full stack of uh, of the cartes. They will send even more stack here, and um, we we will need we will need um, a fleet here with uh, about like seven or eight ships 
just small ships so we can uh, sink the um, Carter's army on transport like this that's coming towards us the enemy fleet we can deal with them with just a small army um, some slingers some uh, light carry and the garrison we have hope lies inside the garrison we just need uh, them to replant it and we can deal with the enemy fleet that attack our settlement around here but uh, if they send an army we uh, will not be able to defend with with just the garrison and uh, and some light carry and slinger um, the carters their armies can be quite dangerous they have elephants remember they have uh, sacred band and the sacred band they can just defeat the garrison supplies quite easily um, so we will not be able to realize on just the uh, garrison supplies and some life units right and so now we will keep trying to sack this ceremony and we try to recruit our crossbow man and we will try to make a fleet here and a small army of light cavalry and slinger here to defend both of our settlement and then we will move our our big armies here and start attacking start attacking the roman yeah um they the roman they already take tarats um april still alive but uh with only apollonia now so we will need to attack the roman and this will be very interesting. The Romans will have a loss of army. <laughs> so um, fighting against the Romans will be quite a challenge. <laughs> it will be a big challenge. But we have um, a very powerful tool to deal with them. That's the crossbow man. And actually, if you want to uh, have easier battle, you can always uh, you can also try to recruit a few artillery. Yeah, at Syracuse, you have a uh, built-in seek engine barracks in your city. So when you upgrade your city to level 2, you can recruit this um, artillery. That one special thing about Syracuse. And it's very interesting, right? With a few ballista. I think we just need like two ballista. Ballista would be very, very useful against the roman they are very good uh, against heavy armored unit so uh, with the ballista we can just shot down these roman uh, annoying units like the triary um, from afar <laughs> yeah and when they get to our line they will only have like principes or uh, hastati and they will have to fight against our hope lines and they will not be able to be able to defeat our front line and we just move uh, the crossbow and flank them and break them apart yeah just so fighting against the roma the roman with uh, artillery will be much more easier but um i personally i don't like to use um artillery because it makes battle like significantly easier and uh, the AI, they kind of act pretty stupidly against uh, artillery. So I don't want to use them. And also, if you want use the artillery, the artillery can significantly slow your army down. Uh, it's reduced your army's movement range by a lot. So personally, I don't like using artillery. But remember, artillery is a very powerful tool you can use against the roman they are very very powerful so if you want to have an easier time fighting against roman just recruit artillery and even against uh, the castle as well the artillery can be used to kill the enemy elephant from afar so they're very very useful and with some artillery you can actually attack city much easier than without and also the crossbow man they are very powerful in Sikh battle. Artillery, crossbow, applies. You will be able to take city very easily with them. Yeah, break some walls down. Shot everyone behind the walls with your, your crossbow, with your powerful crossbow. And move your hoplite through the gaps in the walls. And <laughs> just 
uh, defeat the remaining of the enemy. That actually very easy to take uh, cities with uh, with Syracuse. They are they are expert in siege battle. It's very powerful, and you can even bring some of this uh, some night warriors to fight on walls. They are very good. Yeah, they are very good. So, alright, let's just do that, that's, and uh, let's see how our armies will perform against the Roman, right? Now, let's go, let's go. Alright, so after a few turns of sacking uh, and recruiting, now we have our uh, army. And this will be the army that we will use to fight against the Roman. Oh, uh, by the way, the Roman just declared war on me. Okay, perfect timing. Now we just go and fire, um, and I think uh, with uh, this guy, I mean, we are ready to just take this segment already. Since <laughs> yeah, since we take it every turn, um, a rebellion spot and take that settlement. and now now we take it right because why not? Let's go and take that. Okay, cool. Um, a few garrison inside. I think we need to. Do we need to fight this battle manually, or we just? Oh wait, 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 wait. Actually, we should use the. Uh, we should use another uh, general to to attack like this. Yes. Okay, it's better. So we can just auto resolve this battle. Five percent. Good. It's not. Um, yeah, it's not a big deal. And we can loot this salmon for gold. We need that gold. Do it. Okay. And there is another rebellion army over here. We need to get rid of them as well. Um, we'll try to move here and try to attack with this army. Like this, wipe them out. Okay, it's very good. Now we have full control of um, Sicily. But uh, uh, this army will still need to stay here for a few turns to defend us against uh, Carthus until we can recruit a few cavalry for this one, and we can recruit a few, a few small ships for this uh, small fleet over here, so we can uh, intercept the yeah this Carthus army on transport like this, um, and uh, get rid of them at sea. If they attack us uh, with their army. This will be very difficult to defend Cleansa. Uh, Alright, so over here we try to get a few cavalry. Just a very cheap one should be enough to defend against against um, enemy fleet. Um, so we will have a few slinger, a few cavalry. Who is this one? Rick Javin cavalry should be enough. Or we can use the uh, Sicilian horseman. Both of them just use a second class population. So, um, yeah, whatever. Or we can try to use the... No, they're very, very expensive. So let's try to use the... Oh, the Greek tra traveling man. Should be enough. We can move uh, one of these ramis back here to recruit some more as well. We have population here. I don't know. No. Oh. And we need some ship. Uh, yeah, this is a very small one. Should be enough. Um, our economy is actually not that great. We need to build, uh, build our settlement up, make more, uh, make more cattle, make more cattle over here, and oh, we can, we can have an edict. Yes, but the. Uh, but it looks pretty good, right? We have Sicily, um, and uh, we 
one small army of cavalry, uh, light horse, and uh, slinger over here, staying between these two segments, we should be able to defend against uh, the enemy fleet. And with a small fleet here, maybe uh, like six or seven ships, we should be able to defend against the enemy army on transport and intercept them at sea like this. So they will not be able to attack our segment. Right. And we can move our faction little army towards the Roman fight. Hmm, public order, pretty bad. And when you use, yep, the reason why we use a lot of characters here like this because it's because um, with that many character, we have, yeah, we can upgrade them. We can um, take this, this skill on them and public order will not be a problem. This one as well. Yeah, upkeep or oh, this one. Yep. This one is more. Yeah, it's better. It's better to have this one. Um, good. And uh, over here as well. Get some uh, public order. Public order. And Empire Maintenance Reduction is very useful. Like this. And we get a few more carry for this army. Probably three more. So we have four of them. Like this. And you stay here. Defend both of this settlement. Um, you can stay inside the settlement. Become a governor. And you too as well. Stay inside uh, one settlement. And become the governor there. <laughs> Very nice. And next. After we we uh, we get uh, Sicily under control, we move our armies here to attack the Roman. Um, and let's see how this army actually perform against the Roman infantry, right? Let's see. Let's see how the crossbowman here will perform in battle. Right. Let's go. All right. So here we go. We have a battle with the Roman. <laughs> a pretty good one. They have a uh, triarii. They have uh, the extra uh, Very strong uh, hoplai unit. I have uh, principe. Lots of principe. They have good carry. Okay. So let's see how the crossbowman will perform in a battle like this against Roman. The Roman actually the worst enemy uh, when we use a lot of break units like this because they have very high armor and they have very good missile block chance on all of their units. Uh, yeah, they have very big shields and their units will be very very good against missile attack. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's go. Alright, so here we go. Um, it's raining, good. We have a very good hill over here. Perfect, perfect for, for our crossbow man. Yeah, let's... Stay on top of the hill like this. Um, like this. This should be enough. This should be enough. Like this. And with the crossbow man, we can outrange most uh, most units in the game. Um, except some very very um elite units like the Rodian slinger or the Belly slinger. The crossbow, yeah, that's strong. So we can just place them in the. Uh, in the back like this front line would be the level lines and the regular hope lines will be right behind him like this okay the level hope lines is pretty good actually um if we have good spearmen i prefer the spear because they are faster they are more flexible but uh, if we do not have very good spear until Turius, we need the Turius spear, right? And then we can replace this Levy Hoplite with uh, uh, Turius spear. But uh, if we don't have the Turius spear, man, the Levy Hoplite is actually a very good option to use at our uh, front line uh, missile unit. They have good missile block chance. Well, um, they they are slow, very slow, and less flexible. But um, compared to the spearmen, they can actually hold the front for a little bit yeah 
they can actually tank tank an enemy for a while until we uh, yeah and we can just move the the spear the hope light in the second light here up to reinforce the, the light when the levy hope lines start getting killed by the enemy they will not be able to win um, in a melee melee fight but they will be able to hold the enemy back for a while for our crossbow man here to do the damage that's good Jero to stay back and Harry move around and let's start the battle Harry move around and try to scope us a little bit yeah that's why we we have them try to move around and scope us against the enemy Harry like this try to make them move towards it so the crossbow can actually kill three this way three this way is good now here good kill the enemy carry real quick like this trying to make them chase come on chase me come on chase me good good you guys to the flying protect the crossbow you guys well to the flying protect the first ball all right to the flying kill the enemy carry first to the enemy carry first that more important mission mission here as well good go back go back go back and all of you kill the carry yeah should be able to kill him really quickly and let's stay in a defensive and in a very defensive formation like this good yeah look at this the crossbow it completely destroys this army man destroy him oh holy shit we should be more careful this carry the charge my crossbow over here it's not good oh, okay we need to be more careful holy shit now go back um our, our carry here they're pretty good in melee actually look at this they can fight and win against this roman melee carry Right. Formation, formation, formation. Go back, go back a little bit here. Yeah, stay back a little bit here. All right, good. One down. Um, you know, crossbow still doing damage to the enemy. All right, the Roman is still trying to get to my crossbow. Holy shit! All right, get back here. Nice mission. Get back. Back here. Come on. Use cavalry faster. And you. Shot the general. Good. The. Um, yeah. The Roman will have a few triarii here. That will be the most dangerous unit. Yarrow, pull back. Alright, a crossbow will be able to kill the general really fast. And we will try to go back and shot uh, this. Uh, 
and shot this uh, tri area right now. Alright. A tri area. That's a more dangerous one. Holy shit, we forgot to stay in phalanx. Holy shit. Yeah, everyone. Let's go. And you guys focus on the tri area. Yeah, I like this. I hope I should be able to hold. Harry start go moving around and kill the enemy missile unit. Yep. Do it. Three of you. Three of you. Alright. Kill a general as well. Um they already he already take a lot of damage from the crossbow attack. At your your yes, yeah, like that's okay. The triary I start pushing through my uh, Levy Hope Light. You get stupid. That understandable. Yeah. Let's just levy hope lies. They will not be able to hold against the most elite Roman infantry there. Get the Jero for me. You kill him. Um but the crossbow they're doing a very good job here killing the triarii, right? Yes. Not very good. We should. We should um, move around and fire the enemy from the flank or rear. Over here as well. Need to use our javelin on this freaking general. So disengage. I'm gonna keep firing at this triary. Get up. Keep firing. Get zero for me. All right, it's good. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, it's good. It look like we we deal with the triarii. Now let's try to move the crossbow around like this, and try to use them to flank the, the enemy. Kill the triarii. Units is used Go back. Go for a while. Go for a while. Fire. Catch this dude. Here. Fire into the back of this Principe. Alright, we still have a loss of ammunition on the crossbow. Actually, kill this tri area first. <laughs> More dangerous than anything. <laughs> yes, right. I'll get stood. Alright, let's stay here. By the will. Some of the hope lies come back. Good. Oh. Missile 
Um, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Come on, get up, get up. All right, it's look like. Looks like we need reinforcement here, real quick. Yeah. The Roman infantry, they are really strong. Holy shit. Way. Good. Guys, you're fighting. Okay, but the crossbow, they're doing the, the job. They start killing the enemy here. Good. You guys here. But will. Get the enemy. Good job. The crossbow, they're doing a very good job here. Killing everyone. Prince to pay. Holy shit. And we should chase this uh, rabbit units down with the cavalry. We don't want them to come back, right? Chase them down. You guys fight well. Fight well. Stay here. Go back. Get up. Get up. Four. Crossbow. Keep fighting. Oh. Fire. Into the back of this 50 Roman. Now get up. Get up. Holy shit. All right. Okay. Yes, right. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah. Yours to command. Yes, right now. And all of them were out, obviously. Now all we need to do is chase and kill everyone here. <laughs> Alright, look at that! Look at the kill on the crossbow man. Um, so it deal lots of damage to the enemy units uh, over here. Okay. Hmm, okay, so with this army, we now are strong enough to fight against the Roman. At least, if we, we if we just have to fight against one army of them, we should be able to win it. Not too difficult, right? The crossbow will will be very very strong, will be powerful, very powerful. And when we uh, level up our general, we level up our army tradition, we level up uh, the champions, we can get even better, better, yeah, our cross moment will get even stronger, more range, more damage, more ammunition, um, yeah, and we, they, they, they will just win battle for us, and with, uh, when they get more, 
experience more veterancy they will shoot faster right now they have pretty low firing rate that's their um, biggest weakness they fire very slowly compared to archer so they kill this infantry very slowly um, so the enemies still have enough time to deal a lot of damage to our units here but uh, when we leave them up when they get more veterancy like at uh, 3 gold chevrons for example they can fire very fast and we kill this infantry much better much faster and uh, actually we can uh, level them up really really quick their, their range unit they uh, tend to have a lot of kill in battle and um, and they take not and they, and they will not take any casualty at all since they are range units right we will do our best to protect this guy all right okay so this is just the beginning of the campaign um but we are in a very solid position we have one pretty strong army strong enough at least they're strong enough to fight against the roma that's the most important thing we can uh, we can try after we do the battle we can try to fall back into our territory through red planets right um we can go to panamus here panamus um well wow panamus is right here that's very far away so we can replant it and can we get this here yep probably get replant this here we can go in back to syracuse to replant this we have uh, enough population here to replant this our armies right after the battle with the roman and we try to keep killing the roman uh, around this area and eventually they will uh, possibly they will run out of legions and we can go ahead and take their settlement around this area and um, after we take Manorasia and Latium yeah that we will have a very powerful economy and we get we can build lots of army and uh, go around fight battle I declare war on everyone and we take settlement and we can go after the cartes after we take latium that's the plan that's the plan um over here we have a fleet that's a small fleet so if the cartes they send some armies on transport like this to attack us we just use our fleet to take them out this will be very easy with that with a fleet that big 10 unit we should be able to take this guy out quite easily actually right um we have a few more characters around here stay inside the settlement um to be guards the governor yep the reason why i always try to use a lot of gro in the very early game because we can level them up and we can take the governor skill on them it's very important so as you can see here we do not build any public order building at all but we have plus 16 public order all because of the characters look at this we have 43 public order just from the characters it is <laughs> around here so you can see how powerful the jero as governor can be and they will be a great a great boost um in the very early game when you don't have enough building slot, you don't have enough gold to invest in public order in the province. Um, obviously, we ne need to build this this building for food and wealth to support our armies, right? If we build, a, for example, a temple here or a temple here, we will not have enough income to support our army. Like this. And also, one important thing in this campaign is that uh, don't try to take Panamus right away in the early game. Um, when you are still building up, don't try to take it. Because as you can see here, Panamus, when we take it, it's also contribute 200 income. 200 income to our total income, right? 
is really really low uh, but with sucking it every turn we gain like 2000 gold per turn 3000 gold per turn compared to uh, 200 gold per turn it's a very big difference and uh, we can do it for free and we can do it while still recruiting and building up our uh, our military um, well why if we uh, try to take the settlement we need to invest gold into it to make it useful right <laughs> and we run out of target to attack so we cannot re um, we cannot um, level up our GRO <laughs> that's uh, one of the most important thing we need to do in the campaign in this in the Syracuse campaign so now it will still be very difficult because like you only have one army and we have to fight against the Roman they will have a lot of army they will have uh, on legionary they will have something between uh, eight legions uh, over here and they will just focus all of their military on you because they <laughs> just won your land so bad both Carthus and Rome won your land so bad they would just move everything they have and try to attack you with 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 a loss of uh, army but if we if we um we just try to we can try to um set up ambush somewhere yeah, yeah we can try to separate them fall back into uh, our territories here and try to fight the battle as Syracuse actually you have the trade which um, increased uh, where this oh here uh, increased military defense during battle in um, our old territory so when we fight it in our old territory here we will be stronger yeah and uh, we can keep trying to kill the and religions, the Roman legions. Eventually, we will be able to counter attack and take their territory. And um, over here, when we can upgrade all of this building, when we get the technology, uh, and so we can upgrade our town and city to level three, we will have a better economy as well, and we can just make another army to attack the Roman. That's also an option. With two armies, too strong army like this, we should be able to do that. Hmm. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. Um, yeah, so uh, we will wrap up this uh, video over here. That will be um, a very good start with Syracuse that you can just use as a uh, strategy to start your own campaign, right? Um, hopefully, you will find this video useful and if you like it please leave a like um, and comment which faction do you want to see in the next one in the next video um, and uh, okay you can subscribe to the channel so you can have more content like this in the future <laughs> right so thank you very much for watching and see you in uh, our next video.